Today I'm going to show you how to make an alcohol stove using a single coke can. There are many videos out there uh, showing you how to make an alcohol stove but they use two coke cans instead of one. So I think that's a waste of resources. So today I'm just going to use one single coke can to make an alcohol stove. So the way I make this is I'm going to cut the can to three sections. The top you can see the mark right here. I have a mark right here and a mark right here. So this is the top part of the stove. That's the bottom part. And the middle part is going to be inside. And um, let's see. First thing I'm going to do is to cut the round circle on the top. And we use a box cutter to cut it. I find this the easiest way to cut it, even though it, it doesn't make a perfectly round circle, but it uh, gets the job done. Cut away a little bit at a time. See, I'm almost done here. There we go. Now I just have to use my file and uh Clean it up a little bit and uh, it should look good. Here it goes. Looks nice and neat. And next, I'm going to cut the can to three sections. And um, I use a blade mounted on a piece of 2x4. And uh, I'm just going to spin around the edge of the blades and I should cut it clean. After a few rounds, I got my knife cut through the bottle. Now I just have to insert it into the top of the blade right here. Push it in and then slowly spin it and it will make a perfect cut around the bottom. See there? Oh, almost. I'm almost done here. Now I just have to push it down and it will go along the cut line. what we call metal fatigue. Beautiful cut. Next, I'm going to do the same thing to cut the bottom. Alright, so now I have three parts. With the middle parts about, I would say about two millimeter taller than uh, both of these. So these two are the same dimension. This 
is about two millimeter longer and everything is going to be used in this project so this middle part here is going to go inside the uh, stove you see here there's there's a groove on the bottom and on the top there's also a groove okay and this is going to go inside and on that groove on both the bottom and the top part of the stove for the middle part of the stove it is the same diameter as the stove so I have to shrink it so that will fit inside the seam of both the bottom and the top so I'm just gonna cut and we'll try on here Then I'm going to mark my marker around there. So I'm just going to mark right here, right there. Now I just have to staple it together. Alright, so before you staple this together, Notice the inside portion of the can on the bottom is smaller than the top. So what you gotta do is instead of doing straight like this, let's see, right, staple straight like this, staple it in, right? Where the mark is. Now you gotta bend it, make it like uh, slant it a little bit, like a cone. So the top still stay in line with the mark, but the bottom uh, extended a little bit bigger, like this. So it looks more like a cone shape uh, instead of a barrel shape. So let me see if it fit on the top. You see there. Um, make sure that it fits on the top ring of the uh, the top portion. I have to make it a little bit bigger. Just slant it out a little bit on the on this part. All right, let's try it again. Should fit now. And now I'm gonna staple it together. Okay, like so. Now I just have to cut it so that uh, it stays straight. Like so. I'm gonna cut the top too. Make sure it's straight. It's almost straight anyway. You can see there. I'm just gonna trim it a little bit. that should do. So, let's try it on. There we go, fits on the bottom. Let's see if it fits onto the top part. You can see that it stays inside, right on top of the seam of the top part like so one thing to notice that the inside of the stove has to be taller than the outside bottom part in this case it's almost the same size because when you put the top on you see there it's gonna be like that so the inside has to reach all the way to the top of the top part of the stove. 
So I need about what, three or four milli, millimeter to reach the top. So I'm gonna cut. I'm just gonna cut the inside, the uh, the bottom part of the stove a little bit. Now four millimeter. And see there it has to stick up a little bit so when you push on the top it goes all the way to the top of the top part right like that and that should do also on this part I'm gonna cut just a little bit on the bottom So, and probably one on this side. Okay, like that. So it's gonna be like that. And then when you pour the alcohol in, you will allow the alcohol to flow inside into the chamber. Next, I'm going to bend the bottom. Like so. And that will make it easier for me to push the top on. So, Will come in very easily. Now I just have to push it down. Make sure the inner wall fits into the groove of the top part of the stove. So it goes in very easily. Here we go. Beautiful. Now you just have to make some holes and use a drill and drill the hole. Or you don't have a drill, you're in the middle of nowhere and don't have a drill, you can use a knife or something pointy. I'm just going to use my cutter here and uh, just going to poke some holes. This is where the jet comes out, okay, like so. I do it around. Like that. Here we go. Fast and simple. Alright, so moment of truth. I love some denature alcohol here. Let's do a burn test. Should be enough. And uh, I'm just, I'm not going to prime it. I'm just going to let it prime itself. And I don't have a lighter, but this should do. There we go.
and let's see how long it takes to uh, fly up the jets and you can see some jets already forming right there it's pretty fast there we go that is pretty fast there we have it full flame let me turn off the light so you can uh, easily see it there we go right over my camera Not, hopefully it doesn't burn my camera my camera right on top of it but there you have it full flame there you have it one single coke can one stove and nothing is wasted next video I'm going to show you my um, uh, alcohol stove setup that I use for camping until then and um, I'll see you next time thanks for watching